All right, guys, kicking up right where the last video left off. Um, so we're picking up right from there. We're gonna report Obito because he did use the vanishing gauge too much. There was excessive lag on my side that was barely captured in the screen capture. Because looking at the replay, it looked very smooth, but from our end, we could see the lag. Um, this lets me know something was wrong, so we are gonna report him with unauthorized action. And it's not because his he wasn't a better player. Our units weren't even comparable. Um, I clearly outmatched these two on just Broly. Uh, this was a matchup, color matchup, color matchup, color matchup is where he had me. Color matchup is where he had me, but we both have one off-color matchup that had nobody on the board. And mine was a three-star with a higher level than his two-star. That's where I'm a little bugged, so I made sure to filed the report just because I watched the footage again before I'm uploading it now and I definitely don't like showing you guys hackers because it ruins I think first of all I hate that Bandai Namco won't address this issue um they haven't done anything it's caused an issue with the there's now a, that tournament in Vegas I mean like I'm pretty sure D Free and Rhyme Style got cheated out of that one too. Unless they're they're going, but unless you can just unless it's free participation too. But I'm pretty sure you had to win back when they had that. I had out of 15 matches, I had 12 wins, so there were probably a few 15 wins. But what I'm curious more or less about is how did I just get completely stomped? And there was no detection for anything. So the three matches I lost were complete stomps. I totally... My characters wouldn't... I couldn't load cards. Like, I would load my card late. That was also happening in that last match. Um, when people hack, they do run multiple hacks at once. They don't ever run one because it, it can't look like lag if it's one hack at a time. Um, one hack at a time usually would be something like... Uh, the player nerfing your stats or something like that but this was like how do i put it this wasn't like my stats being nerfed this was more or less like oh geez those are some of the worst summons ever but this was more or less like um he seemed to have something like backing him I hate to say it, but also notice this, that I'm not getting paired, I'm not going to get up a battle rank 30 unless I grab a bad under-equipped team. Um, my ability bonus is really low because these are just some of my better units right now. Um, I also like GT, so I'll give props to my GT boys, but now they're a little rough to run. Um, fuck it, my best results team. As you noticed, I'm not up against people in my rank, though. Um, I'm up against people a few ranks above me, and I'm not quite pleased about that. That's another issue with Bandai Namco. If anyone's watching, fix your rating system, because we need to have more even rating matches. Um, I don't know if that's hacking, but I do know that I'm getting paired up way more than most other rank battle rank 30s are. And it's making it impossible to get out of 35 when I have to start battling battle rank 50s early. Um, if anyone else is having this issue, please let me know. That way we can definitely, definitely do something about this. Because if this is an all-around player issue, we can all just stop playing and Bandai Namco now has to fix our problem. And see, I'm seeing the issues. Goku should have never... His uh, key charge... Watch my key charge. Did you see how it stopped three times before it hit 100? If not, uh, just note that this guy is modding a lot because he is definitely... Gohan, this is the new Goten, or well, was the new Goten that I was fighting against. And that Goten is just not that good. I hate to break it to anybody, but that Goten is just not that good. And see how my key is acting up? They said they were going to nerf that, and I'm sometimes wondering if that isn't the nerf. Is they just make your key gauge act highly erratic. And on top of that, this guy is also not using cards and getting his Rising Rush. I have been playing every card I have, no Rising Rush. On top of that, my prediction was flawless. 
So let's see. Um, that although that was a luck based prediction, I literally was like, he hasn't thrown out a special. He's already got his rising rush, which makes zero sense half the time when somebody's already got a special loaded for their rising rush and had to throw out none of them. Okay, this is good. This is giving us an edge on him. Um, but bear in mind, the mods are going to get worse from here on out. So now that we've taken out a character who wasn't even a threat to us. And he lost. So, um, this Goten is extremely strong, but it should not have been able to defeat my whole team. This unfortunately amounts in another report. Due to the fact my key wasn't charging fully, and, I mean, we, we've got to address that with Bandai Namco. I brought in a character whose key gauge should have literally gone up. Because, again, there's more key affecting metals than there are vanishing gauge affecting metals. I'm using key affecting metals, and my key meter broke instead of doing what it was supposed to. Um, so now that you guys have seen some stupidly hard matches, and that that can be considered done and over with, um, ugh, I'm sorry, I, I hate battling people who don't fight the way, it's a Dragon Ball Z game, so like you're gonna have more people who don't use mods, who don't hack, but at the same time, we feel disrespected as a community when we are up against people who hack. Because we're trying to play a game that takes us back to our youth that is literally hard in its challenge. Would you come in and you mod the game? You take away the challenge not just from yourself but from others. You make it a competition that's unwinnable almost. And instead of it being something that's fun and everyone can look forward to, because I look forward to a good stomping. I prefer a good stomping to a bad one, personally. And, um, but, like, modding is where, like, the game loses its, um, appeal. When people start modding the game and start making all these changes on their own phone, uh, it just... I don't know how to explain it, guys. It just really devolves the atmosphere. It takes what was once an intelligent game and makes it so now you don't even need skill to play it. <laughs> and now it's like, okay, so this game had me thinking. Now the only thing I'm thinking about is how do I fucking, uh, how do I mod so that way I can fucking beat all these modders? Because that's what happens when you have to deal with a community that mods is you start thinking, oh, well, now I'm gonna have to mod because... I, I don't have the ability to do that, what I just did, that perfect attack combo, <laughs> that I put three months of time into learning, stopped learning after two more extra months, so five months later I stopped learning this technique, and then on top of that I come back to find out that they never banned that technique, so I'm like, oh, I can actually do what I wanted in the first place? And then, I do, but now it's like an issue that there's problems with the game with it. Or there aren't, there were supposed to be. Um, 
Let's take a look and see if Goku's key meter breaks here, because that was stupid. His key meter just fucking... It wouldn't work. And if that's what happens when I use items that are supposed to enhance my key, then why would I use them if it breaks my key instead of making it actually work? And see how that worked about five times? What they did to nerf it is they gave it a, uh, there's a better recovery frame now. So, like, as your opponent's just going infinite on you, you'll definitely get better recovery frames. Ah, shoot. Because nobody wants to have their opponent go infinite on them. So the game tried to prevent that, and I don't blame them on that. Actually, that's a really good correction to make. Um, because infinite combos exist in this game where the player will just never stop launching a card. I don't charge key, so that's where, like, I don't go infinite. Um, I charge key on side dashes, and that'll keep my key about 40-30. Um, unless I'm really pushing it, going for the kill on a character, going for the win in a match. Um, but the issue I run into is that it just kind of destroys what is a fun game when people start modding and start doing things like that. Because it takes what people are playing it for and just straight removes it. I mean, on the real, like, it's like, I, it's cool, I guess, that you can mod, but it's not cool for everyone else that has to deal with your mods. Like, I get, I, I could mod my game extremely, but I've never chosen to, and there's a reason, and it's because I'd rather be a better player than a better modder. So, like, and that's just a, the case for every game I play. I'm better at any game I play than I am at modding any game I play. And I'd rather it be that case than it be anything else. See, but yeah, like, it, I'm not seeing as many issues with the key charging. No, in fact, I'm seeing zero issues with the key charging. I'll do one more round of online before I'm done here. Because that's a bit ridiculous that I'm getting beaten by people who probably couldn't beat the level 50 Broly. And that's brutal. I just haven't made it to him. I just haven't made it to level 50 Broly to go give him the Wampin. Let's go find out how long I've got on my free VPN. Okay, I've got a few. I've got about 18 minutes. I use a VPN to play this game because I have to. It won't load for me without one. So let's do this. Yeah, but always, like, guys, if you feel that the match was hacked and you have some evidence of it, always report it. Bandai knows that... Bandai's given me video game rewards. So, I mean, check, check, check out Gamer Guy Gladimir and check out this game. I want more rewards. But they've given me rewards for recording. I'm here like, that's so cool. Like, you don't just get that from any game. So our opponent is going to be green, yellow, red, or purple. I'm guessing the purple's coming, so we're going to bring Vegeta. Um, the red is the newest, so we'll bring Gogeta. And it's a toss-up between Old Frieza and Kura. I'm guessing Old Frieza. So his star level is only ridiculous on one unit, and that one unit was alright when it came out. I see how good he is now. He was the equivalent to Bardock at the time. The Bardock that came out, which is the blue Bardock, who's still out here tearing shit up. Okay, let's get rid of him. Alright, this guy doesn't know attack methods and how they work. This is good for us, guys. This is really good for us.
Whew. Oh man, this guy is really big annoyed. Well, okay, he's also using an EX unit, so do not ever get mad at your opponent when you're the one being bad with an EX unit. Because I didn't tell this guy to use an EX unit. This guy chose to use an EX unit because there is no SP chilled. Um, chill is cool, but he just doesn't have an SP version right now, and that's a real problem. Oh, is he going to quit out? Just so I can't get my three character kills on him. Because people do that too when they uh, are losing and there's a new set of events. And they know when people are just going for it. So like they get real big annoyed in this game. See? Forfeited. I knew it was coming. I knew Frieza's ass wrecking was coming. Ah, and then the dude just leaves before I can throw down on the booty. Oh, well, y'all made it to my rank up finally. It took, what, five matches? Two of which I just wasn't poised to win. Battle history. Messages. Good party, because good party doesn't mean anything. Report. And uh, intentional disconnection on that guy. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna do me dirty like that, boyo. Um, I guess my last match will be back to the Broly thing. <sighs> that was kind of gay, guys. Kind of gay. I don't know if you felt that in your soul, but I definitely did. Um, I felt that was kind of just gay. Like, the dude was a bit of a raging harmer. But yeah, I don't know, guys. I just want good opponents, so please play this game. Just more players would fix this problem in all reality because I, I also am thinking that it's because there's so many players modding and fighting their way up at once that 35 is just a congestion point, 30 to 35. After 35, you start getting better matches, but up until 35, you will have some of the worst matches you've ever had in a game. And you just sit there wondering why, because you don't have the ability to do anything else. Oh no, here goes real dough getting the real dough. Ugh, oh, get there, real dough. Oh, no, don't get there, real dough. Jenna, real dough. Oh man, Generaldo is going to give it to him. This video is going to be longer than the 20 mark, but only by a couple. If I would have kept PvP in last video, I would have had a much longer video on my hands. I'm going to finish this Broly, the next Broly, and then we'll go back to PvP. I'll start one more new video, go back to PvP, and then, yeah. But I'm just, I'm at a loss with PvP, guys, because it keeps upranking me, and then on top of that, it also fucking keeps, I know it's upranking me because I'm not in the 30 bracket for units, like, the 30 bracket for units, you have 1,500s, a lot of 1,500s, I don't want to fight y'all if y'all units are 1,500, I want big opponents, big, meaty, juicy opponents, and that's all I want. Is I want the biggest, juiciest, meatiest opponents the game can give me, but it keeps not giving them to me. Also, I hope that they do something epic for the one year anniversary. If you guys have any ideas, drop a like and or drop an idea in the comment section. Give me while giving me a like and a subscribe. If you liked the video, that is. If you didn't, whatever. Fuck you too, then, fam. Just kidding. <laughs> not really, but like on a real note, though, fuck any hackers playing this game. Just because they're annoying. I think that they watch my videos. Like, just to, just like the few video views I get, there's players just watching and they're like, how can I shit on this guy today? And so the reason you do the zig and zag with the um, blast cards... <laughs> Good God, Vegeta. This Vegeta, I don't know why Goku's so prized. This thing is the debuff king. Like, he is just out here debuffing everyone and their grandmama in 
Like for real, this Vegeta's really out here just on it like that. And everyone's so up on that fucking GT go to Goku. I think they really overlooked this unit. If you don't think he's an overlooked unit, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that this guy is the most overlooked unit in Dragon Ball Legends today. Today. Looking at all the overlooked units. There's that 966 I'm used to. The 999 I hit once. Ugh. I wish I had had the camera rolling then. You never have the camera on for the good stuff either. The camera always... You guys have never seen my 10 game win streak from 30 to 35. And I'm trying to show you guys that. But every time I record. Every time. It's like Omelette Arcade is like live streaming me or something. And I hope they're not. I just want to record. I don't want to go live. Oh, we got that title upgrade. Everybody's getting plus 50. And we got all those chrono crystals coming in. Bang, bang. Alright, guys. That'll be our break for now. And take it easy and enjoy your day.